It's Kevin, Gamertag Magil, and I'm bringing you half of a game of Domination on launch. It's the whole game I played, but I joined halfway through. And surprisingly, I actually do well, which isn't isn't usually the case when I join a game in progress. There, I use my flashbangs effectively. I've got the MPL on, because I probably just want to run around, or I might have some contract. But I always go down to B, even when we're... Like at the start of the game, I go down to B, and I always watch that because people love dropping down on there. But I occasionally get caught from the other drop down spot, as you never know where they're going to be at. And once they have that flashbang or the counter spy plane up, it really makes it difficult to know what's going on exactly around this place. Don't really use the tack insert much. I know it keeps showing up on my MPL classes, but it's just kind of there, and I never remember to change it. Really, when I'm running around, I don't find that any of the equipment is all that effective. Here I get lucky because that guy ran out of ammo or was possibly lagging a little bit, but I'm always happy about lag when it benefits me. So here I'm just going to slowly move into their spawn and keep killing them and build up my kill streaks. There I just shot because I knew the red dot was there and I couldn't see him anywhere else, so I assumed he had to be there. It's a nice kind of lucky kill. He was one of the probably two really good spots to spawn camp them on this side at. So this one you got the barrel, the other one is the the pathway that's down the middle where you have the railing to protect you. And I'm going to pick up my dogs right here in a nice minute and a half. It's always always a good feeling to rock out that your kill streaks that fast in a game. Don't quite save my teammate there, but should have been a dumbass. He knew where the bad guys were. He's got the blackbird up too. Just one thing I noticed, that there are a lot of people who can't read the radar even when you've got the uh, Blackbird up from them. They still don't really seem to know what they're doing and where they're going at. Which, when I'm playing with a team, even when I'm not playing with a team, because usually I play with people who know what the radar does, I will make the call outs and I feel kind of stupid because they should know, but there are people who just don't notice those giant red triangles on the upper left corner of the map. But that's just how certain people play, so Your is gone. whatever. I'm not going to rag on them too much. Luckily, this is a game is a little bit shorter because I joined halfway through and I'm trying to get shorter games. I'm tired of having those 10 of the games there. I just make an awful play, but nobody's perfect. I was doing that last night where I played some TDM, but I ended up going a full 10-minute time limit because it was on hotel. People just couldn't find each other, and my team wasn't that great. But I'm still going to post it because I did well on my part. Here I get an awesome random grenade. Always a good feeling, and being on the receiving end, I know how much it sucks when it happens to you, but I still love throwing those grenades and hoping. I mean, you're throwing in a high traffic area, so I was pretty confident about getting somebody. There's another ghost silencer guy in my existence. Here I'm going to kind of make a poor decision. So I'm going to flashbang that guy, and then I'm going to run up and get this guy, which leaves my back exposed. I think I was kind of expecting that my teammate to move forward, which is always a poor decision when you're not actually playing on a team to expect too much of your teammates. Friendly care package on the way. Which sounds really negative, but that's you know, that's kind of the confidence they inspire when I find playing myself playing with people who aren't really on my team. Here I'm gonna run in their spawn again, the game's pretty much over, we're gonna win. Here here I switch out to my ballistic knife because I wanna get a cool ballistic knife kill cam. I do get a ballistic knife kill, but not the kill cam. And uh, this game's coming up to a close, and I'm going to have a short clip from a headquarters game on there as well. There. Well, luckily managed to escape the guy who spawned behind me. But time runs out before I can kill him again. So I ended up going 24-2 and two and ended up second on my team with two captures when I had just joined there. So, here, so here's an older game of dem or headquarters. I was playing in just random headquarters trying to get some good games and I think we ended up playing against the full team and it feels like they had really good communication our teammates were talking but we just weren't good enough I mean some of us were talking there was a large portion who weren't but we ended up it's just really frustrating to play in because I knew what I wanted to do and I just couldn't get anything done but I do manage to cap we managed to capture two headquarters so it wasn't a blowout I mean it was mostly a blowout we didn't get shut out and I do capture this one all by myself and defend it, and these guys are just... I don't have a silence gun, they're just oblivious to where I was for a while. There's the last kill I get before getting taken out, so that's all I've got for you today, and hopefully I'll have some good stuff up soon.